Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to insert custom backgrounds into Jamboard. In one of the newest updates to Jamboard, Google has added a new feature that allows you to set a custom background. So previously, when you clicked on set background, it had the stock backgrounds. However, now there's a new option to insert your own image. And when you click on that, you can either upload from your own desktop. You can use a camera if you have a device that has a camera to take a picture. You can do a Google image search. You can take from your Google Drive or right from your Google Photos. So let's just go in and do a Google image search for Venn diagram template. And let's see what we come up with. Perfect. So let's click on this set as frame background. And now when your students go in, they can't accidentally change or move the background. So I know in previous versions, teachers would put in a template like this and have students right on top of it. And sometimes the students would move it by accident. Um, so now students will be able to write on it. They'll be able to add their sticky notes, but no matter what they do, when they're clicking, they won't accidentally click and move the background. And again, you can do this for anything. You can go and set the background for a blank map or, you know, whatever it is that you want the students to be able to do, you can go in and have them do it. Now, it is important to note that students will be able to change the background. Uh, so they do have the ability to go in to set background and add their own images and uh, as of this point, there's still no version history for Jamboard. Uh, hopefully that's something that we'll see real soon. But in the meantime, this is a nice feature because now teachers can put something in the background and not have to worry about students moving it around by accident. They can just simply draw or add their sticky notes right on top of whatever it is they put in the background. So now you'll see if I add a sticky note and put North America... I can move that around and there's no chance of me accidentally moving the background. Same as if I put a text box in, I can move that around, um, but I can't move the background. This is currently a feature that's being rolled out. There is no actual timetable for when everybody should see this, but over the next couple weeks, you should begin to see the option to add in your own background. So while I know a lot of teachers still won't feel comfortable using this in a large class setting until there's a version history, this will at least help to make sure that your jams are a little bit neater and more organized because you don't have to worry about students accidentally clicking on the background, kind of moving it, setting everything else off. Uh, so it is a nice addition until we get that version history. If you are using Jamboard and are excited to use this in another way, please let us know how you plan on using the backgrounds in the comments section below. And if you found this video helpful, please feel free to share this with teachers that might find it beneficial as well. If you haven't already, please click on the subscribe button below and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't already, please reach out to me on Twitter and follow at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the edtech show. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.